your father's lightsaber. An elegant weapon, not as random or clumsy as a blaster. <laughs> this is the Rough Rider, black and blue, elephant toe. Yes, it is. And if you have not seen it, you really need to check out my uh, short video. I'm pretty proud of it. It's, uh, of course, Alec Guinness. This is the Rough Rider 2113. This is one that I've wanted in my collection for quite some time. It's been in my watch list. Uh, this is not my knife. This is my buddy's knife, of course. Another one he wanted. He has a GEC version of this, which is pretty freaking awesome. And uh, so I was more than happy to pick it up for him so I could see it. And like all their black and blue saw cut. Oh, freaking incredible. They do have, whether you like it or not, the Rough Rider stamp on this bolster. The front, they are not pinched. And on the back. Love the bone on this. I mean, this bone really sucked me into Rife, Rough Rider initially. For sure. So, this is not a sunfish. It's based off a sunfish pattern. But it's the elephant toe. You got a little swedging here on the top. Look at that blade. Just look at it. Super cool. Awesome knife. It This one is a little gritty. I have not cleaned it. Uh, back springs, they look all right. A little minor gap. Like with most Rough Riders. But, super cool knife. Check out this Warncliffe. Now, I have noticed a little blade rub. I am not a huge snap. I just think this thing needs to be fully cleaned out for sure. Um, the main blade is centered, and and the Warren Cliff. It, let's get in there. It's just packed in there. Now, I'm not sure every example is going to be like this. Rough Rider does vary. But for $18 and change, uh, some places the, these are well over $20. And on eBay, they are over $20. But uh, Chicago Knife Works, I think they're $18 and change, and they are still available. One of the few places that still has them. What a cool knife. Now, do, am I going to get one? It's it's really, I'm really having a hard time. I really like the blade shape of the sunfish with the spear point. I, you know, I need a, a, I need to spread some butter on toast. <laughs> like uh, Singing Toad up in Canada. If you haven't seen his knife or his channel, check it out. He has um, a really awesome white bone marbles sunfish which i think they're like twelve dollars maybe less but this blue bone so nice and it does have the elephant toe has a more of a unique shape than the sunfish sunfish is just a spear point and a pen blade this is the warren cliff and whatever you want to call this blade it's the elephant toe Match strike pull. 
Very awesome. Let's get on the shield. And check out my short. I could try to post it in the link. But uh, if you scroll down into my shorts, you'll see it. This is one of my favorite shorts. It has the established Rough Rider in 1994. I'm still trying to figure out what's between the RR. 2 5. Is that what it is? 215. I'm not sure what that is. If anybody can tell me, it'd be very interesting. Oh, oh, here's, uh, took the skin off and the band aid finally. My cut doesn't look so bad. So glad I did not have to get stitches like Randy. Yeah, um, if this was my knife, I would definitely clean it out really good. And it, it's, it's odd because the other Rough Riders and the marbles I just reviewed from the factory, they were super smooth. No grit whatsoever, but you do get a lot of uh, polishing compound in these knives sometimes. I've noticed that before. And even case knives. I've had polishing compound in case knives. So it's something to be aware of. So if you get it and you're a little unhappy with the walk and talk or snap, you know, you can run it under hot water. You can clean it out with some WD-40. Let it soak, spray it out, work the blades, lube it up. And it usually fixes it. So, uh, Brad, thank you very much for letting me check out this knife. It'll get to you in a few days. I appreciate everybody watching. And remember, the Force will be with you.